Ava, you know, well, about her dreams, you know, just like that seems like a good place to start. Yeah. Ava talks about how she dreams of home, the sun touching everything, and the stars shining up numerously in everlasting glory. And how she dreamt that she ascended upwards and touched the sky. Cool. So we definitely have some, like, sun messiah or something. We're gonna, like, something's gonna get fucked up with, like, the Yuma theocracy religion. I vaguely remember that, like, I think Thistlewick fought, like, a sun disciple or Was something. Was going to, but he, he, uh, he backed out when he learned it would be a fight to the death because oh, he had right. died shortly yeah. before this. Yeah. So, that seems they, to be a They're like sun system. worshippers or a helio whatever uh, religion. They're a theocracy, I believe. They are. Hanging out in the domain of the sun god. Yeah. And so this is presumably... Either she's just, like, crazy and possessed by, you know, religious fervor in her uh, mental state, or, you know, this is actually tied to the shit that's happening. That's right, Wetwood is the other theocracy, technically. I really like, I'm going over the different, like, uh, political models for the towns. So Seneca, Tensis, Regents, and Terrebonne are monarchies. Um, I don't know if Regents still is. I forget where we left that. Oh, um, it's still basically a monarchy, yeah. What would in you, Mar theocracies? Marion, Custer, and Osprin are democracies. So is um. Well, Tarrant is a nationalist democracy, whereas yeah. Larimer is a nationalist autocracy. I find that funny. Uh, and then uh, Emberwell is a corporate oligarchy. Yeah. I feel like Osprin should also... I'm surprised that's not also some degree of corporate oligarchy. The banking clan. We must deregulate the banks. In uh, in Osborne, surely it's like whichever bank has the most money, they're the ones that are in charge at that moment, with it just flipping over at any given moment. Maybe it's like it's all about investment and whatnot. Like you buy stock in the government <laughs> in order to be able to vote. That'd be a good setup for Osborne. <laughs> be the weirdest. I kind of like that, actually. You know, something I was thinking about, so we had the Civil War recently. Yeah. Yeah. And who would remember? The two big players between them were, like... Uh, the, the Confederacy League. and... The League. The League. Okay, yeah, sorry, the, I, the just, League I just... And I just... I, 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 I really, and... for a... Yeah, the League loss. Uh, which one for the league? The league was uh, Tensus, Larimer, Tensus, Tarrant, and Regents. Okay. Regents got conquered, and then was it Tar something happened with Tarrant that kind of folded, and Larimer uh, or like... Uh, gamble happened with Tarrant. Yeah, uh, well, yeah with Gamble dragon, happened. There was a bunch of scandals about how he was able to do all that. And it was Larimer that pulled out, right? Yeah, then Larimer decided to pull out after it saw the way the winds were going, and Tensus was left alone, yeah. and so... We're not uh, tying our fate to you people. Yeah. No, it's just curious, like, um, how did they, like, since they lost, how, how fuck did they get there? Yeah, that's actually Engine. a question I haven't really thought too much about. How much, like, kind of was imposed on them for, like... Yeah, for well, basically... The, the big Tarrant got the it. Had, Tarrant uh, and Regents got it worst, I think. Yeah. Tensus, there, there, there are peace talks. Uh, the official peace talks happen. 
uh, during Party 5. So Yeah, and there were some interruptions which made that, things yeah. tricky. And that recently resolved. Wait, because cause, uh, Angelo's dad... Wait, and Angel... They were from Tensus or Custer? They were from Tensus. They're Tensus, Tensus, yeah. Okay. So that was like a League person that was almost caused a terrorist attack. Yeah. That's probably not great for Tensus. So I feel like Larimer probably did make out the best of the League cities through their, you know... I mean, just with their geography, it's not like... They, they were already pretty isolationist and cut off, and like... Yeah. It's easy for that to go back to status quo. But yeah, you can find out about it by uh, looking into it in game. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, when you because we Terran, went into yeah. Tarrant though, I believe that was the first time any you of did, our parties yeah, have entered Tarrant. Yeah. Briefly, yep. you did in Party Five. Yeah. Remember how Party Four like drastically shit like we helped negotiate the surrender of regents like yeah. i sometimes forget yeah. that that's other than stopping gamble which a lot of people don't own the grit that's like one of the biggest you know that's probably the most obvious big thing they did like that's probably what they would be remembered for in history books i feel like if they because are they remember. just wanted to leave yeah literally just yeah. we wanted to get on the moon <laughs> well Aegis wanted to get on the move again quicker. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you make yeah. camp uh, on the road. And uh, again, Ava's just going on about the stars. Uh, she's As night is fall, she's pointing out which stars are which and how each one is factored into her dream. That's wrong. No, that's not the, that star. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do you even know? I like Maybe. the idea since Cherry is the one who's like asking her the stuff and engaging with her, that she's pointing out stars to a blind woman. Yeah. Nico is every time. No, 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 you're wrong. Nico. Play nice. She's, she's wrong, Lydian. I didn't realize you were an astrologer as well. I'm a scientist that in... That is a field of science. Just scientist knows all fields of science. There is the no good ones. No oh, so he's okay with astronomy and astrology, but uh, yeah, no. but no, 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 no. Wait, what did you say? Yeah, astronomy? No, no, no. I no, think Nico I got the wrong one. With... I I Nico is fine with this. Oh yeah, Nico is fine with the stars. That shit in the paper? No, that's hot poppycock. <laughs> What's Nico's birthday? Oh, I haven't, don't know, actually. I think Nico is a... You know, the first thing that came in my head, in my head is probably because we've talked about her so much. It's like, Nico is a November child. So I was like, wait a minute. That doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. no, no. But I mean like the equivalent. Second, third of October, yeah. <laughs> Second. <laughs> actually, no, you know, Nico is like October 1st child. Yeah. That's Ariana's birthday. That's taken can't steal that That's you can have you can have you can have people with same same birthday also i it's inarguable he is a little nightmare so <laughs> lydian's birthday is february the 5th you know nico had more it is boy. february 5th i keep nico. on meaning we're getting close in time we're like i need to um get that like we need to establish you know, that in universe. Birthdays haven't come up yet. You, you know, um, I could be brutal and say, you know, more people showed up to Nico's birthdays than ever showed up to Ariana's. That's definitely Ariana not true. Ariana doesn't know her birth. No, that is well. No, that is technically. It depends on how you define showed up and people. Yeah, but I'm just saying, Nico doesn't have any friends. Like until this party started. <laughs> no one turned up to his birthday. I mean, November or November. Ariana doesn't know her own birthday it is part of the problem. Um, but like you know, when her first birthday and stuff like that, when she was one year old, uh, the first couple, like 
she would have been surrounded by hundreds of her siblings. I just realized I should have done trade networks, but I'm stupid, so we'll leave that for now. Mm. For some reason, oh, I did. Yeah. it's been so long, I forgot to do a move that would have been very, very useful. Yeah, to, uh, to know someone yeah. Yuma, who can help, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just going to take my lumps on that. Okay. I'll, I'll turn up in Yuma and I'll do something there to... I'm just going to take my lumps, Lydian says as he grabs his stomach. <laughs> it's just kind of one <laughs> lump. Anyway. <laughs> oh god, that reminds me. <laughs> oh wow, it's session 19 and January 19th that we started huh. out on. Nice. Oh wow. <laughs> that just reminds me what I did in 14 Halloween because I joined some people's uh, Halloween meetup. I made this outfit. And this is what that's why I learned why my character's race cannot be allowed to be bold, which is fucking terrifying. Terrible. A whole race with no male pattern baldness. Yeah, no. The closest thing I could get was like a Vigor ha haircut. I think Vigor was bald. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it was like just a bus cut. It's like, nah. Yeah. Fuck. Vigor, it's so funny that Vigor technically had long hair in the first session and then shaved it in the first session and was just shaved. Oh, yeah, he did. The... I forgot yeah, that. My man. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so Ava yeah. points out one star and she says, and that's the star that guides every sling, arrow, bolt, bullet. And she turns oh. to November. Have you ever missed a shot in the dark? Dear Angel, Guardian? Uh, November's not quite sure how to, you know, stop messed with my um, ever? Hmm? I mean, yeah. a few, yeah. I like few. to think I'm pretty good. They were guided by the star. <laughs> November looking up at, you know, the star. Wow. Maybe November is a Sagittarius. They're a star up there for good fortune, good uh, decisions in business, what have you. How the fuck would this zodiac and like uh, our star symbol thing work with three no October's? They they don't correlate to months. Like they very roughly are, but like you know. <laughs> oh, it's just a vibe. Well, it's like specific, you know. Like it's whenever a certain constellation is, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> Just saying, I just thought about it, considering, like... It's fucked up. So, November's a Sagittarius, Cherry's an Aquarius, um... Murray's a Pisces, uh... Or no, or was Murray a Gemini? Murray might be a... I think Murray's a Gemini, actually, not a Pisces, I take that back. Surely a Pisces um, for the pun. I think I I think I resisted it. Oh. Um. I know Azora was a Gemini, um. Which was a winter birthday for her, because Grimwood is Southern Hemisphere. Uh. So uh. Felina's Ava, Leo. To answer your question, uh, Lydian, Ava mm. points at a star and says, there, the gold star of Andatra forms the, forms the tip of the constellation of the pointing finger of a lost god. A lost god. He's alive and well down here, Lydian says, just kind of, just kind of like, um, patting his purse. 
thought you he was gonna say padding his gut at first. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, that, that's, like that. I don't like that imagery. I'm, I'm just thinking about like the Homer episodes, like he talks about something that's like, oh yeah, that's something they bought, like, and he got, and we gave him a new home. <laughs> oh yeah, you know and which that, one? That yeah, that got a lost god, Lydian with a suspiciously god-shaped stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea where. <laughs> Now, where is my god? Where is my god? Love that song. I was more thinking about the pipe. <laughs> oh, true. I was thinking about the, uh, you know, pixie song. Well, actually, that's not true. I was thinking about a uh, Neil C. C. Orega mashup of the Pixie song um, with Stacy's mom hmm. to produce Where Is My Mom instead of Where Is My <laughs> Mind. What's your star, Ava? My star? So many to choose. So many that could be mine. She points uh, at a specific star, though, and says, that's the green star atop the Emerald Tower. That's where I hope to be. It's not even a tower over there. It's not exactly literal, Nico. It's, it's the meanings people ascribe to these things. It's... Oh, don't tell me it's philosophy. I That's not a science and that's terrible. Nico, I... I don't know how to put this to you, but... Magic exists. So? So Doesn't mean philosophy. Doesn't mean philosophy is right. <laughs> I'm just saying that your skepticism seems a little arbitrary. No, that's so woke, actually. I love that. I fucking love magic exists. Doesn't mean philosophy exists. <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Philosophy is a sham. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna blow up fucking Socrates with a fireball. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh. God. Imagine how mad Felina would be right now. <laughs> Severing fucking Nico from science as a concept. No. Oh no, you wouldn't. That's that kill that would kill them. I feel yeah. Well, I, I'm sure Felina would be saying very problematic things right now. A like lot you... of So like usual then? Wow. Felina's never done anything problematic. But she would um... in this moment. Cut to like five minutes ago. Felina's saying so many elf slurs now. <laughs> She's practicing them into the mirror now she knows what she is. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's like, oh my god, I have a pass. Every day she thinks, I hope I meet an elf. <laughs> Do they just say, what's up my knife here? Yeah. Boy, no like, case. how do you think Sullivana reacted the first time Felina pulled that on her? <laughs> That's our word. Exactly. Our word. No, you're not our. You're not our. <laughs> no. No. Vigor, fix this. What the hell is Vigor meant to like... do? He's not half as fast as either of those two. He's just... But he's twice as Alphrasus. <laughs> <laughs> how, how come, like, you know, he has, like, Sylvana as, like, a friend and whatnot, and someone he cares about, but, like, then is also racist against elves? Well, he, you know, Sylvana is his one elf friend. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
I can't be racist. I have an elf friend. She's here in my friend because I helped burn down her entire <laughs> village and traumatize her. I'm just going to say, Vigor's like a complicated guy. He's lived a hard life. He hasn't quite put all of his cognitive <laughs> dissonances together. You know, he, How lives, we act? he lives in that hey, kind of guy... interstitial space where he's not quite aware of the actions which are contradictory. He's got a no, lot you going know on. You know what? You know what? Silvana just goes, Vigor, I need you to temporarily put a hold on the agreement you have with Valley. I need his strand of racism towards Valina. Wow. <laughs> I feel like if at any day you walked up to Vigor and said, Vigor, <laughs> I need you to do a truce <laughs> with O'Malley. You would not finish the rest of the sentence. You would be thrown the fuck out of the room. <laughs> Just figure. I'm afraid we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get the most racist man in all of Hemlock. All right. Um. What um, if one day? How would? Oh yeah. Okay. So hypothetical scenario. There's a crime. There's a meeting. You know, in the basement. Was everyone's mm -hmm. there? All hands on deck. And then, could be Davros, could be anyone they start, right? There's a big sigh. We have to make a deal with O'Malley. What does Ariana immediately do? What's the, the following seconds like? Uh, like, it just cuts to an establishing shot of the building, and then there's an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably, like, they're probably drinking wine at the moment, having heard the news about O'Malley's business imploding mm -hmm. in Custer. Yeah. How do you think Sullivana would react? So, like, Vigor... You know, I wonder if Vigor's ever thought about this. So, like, asking Sullivana, Hey, so you were living in Custer, right? And that's where you started doing, like, this ninja stuff, right? Why didn't you kill O'Malley? <laughs> like, he also burned down your village. He was worse to your... Like, why not kill him? I like to think Vigor has at least enough decorum to not ask that. <laughs> No, I mean, like, like, I don't think it's like a, come on, why didn't you? you it was it would have been so easy. Like, he may be feeling that, but out of just genuine curiosity, you know, I was thinking about it. Like, what's, what, what stopped that happening? <laughs> Probably assume she has her reasons. <laughs> just like, was... I think she just didn't know it was him. I mean, I mean, keep in mind, uh, from her perspective, when Zebedee was raised, Ariana was a, a weird spider monster with some kind of mutation on her, and Ariana killed Vigor. O'Malley yeah. was hiding out outside of view. She had no True. idea O'Malley was there. True. Yeah. Good. They could have. Maybe she could have assumed they just picked up O'Malley later. Yeah. Before. Why do I? Why do I like get the fucking moment like in like the like oh, the first person in this movie where the, the egg guy just tells him. I was always there, but it's O'Malley. <laughs> just cut to scenes before. It was just O'Malley in there. Ariana can't directly suggest to her that she should, but just starts dropping hints, vaguely implying, you know, well, maybe there was other things you, you could have gotten done in Custer, you know, left some unfinished business there, you know, just hoping Sullivan goes back and cuts off O'Malley's head. You know the last part? O'Malley may be down right now. He's gonna come back. <laughs> he's not dead, yeah. He's... I think he's fated to just live like some fucking he's... chaos god. Now yeah. he... Last we saw him, he's in the sewers. <laughs> he's gonna, like, find some turtles and mutate them with the light of Pathagon. <laughs> <laughs> turn them into assassins yeah. to go kill to go kill the mob boss in this like this sort of like yakuza mob boss in <laughs> whoa wait wait wow one, anyway. oh, one of them's gonna chop off ariana's head p <laughs> we i like how the street the street sharks predate the ninja turtles in this yeah. universe anyway uh Back to the scene. Ava lastly points out a, the bright, the brightest star in the sky and says, and there's the burning eye of Galenula. It passes judgment. 
Well, I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> what is it? And what does it judge us on? It judges everything, really. Galenula looks down, sees the everything that passes throughout and when the I land, and then sees to it, and then looks, gazes upon whatever needs the judgment the most, and woe betide any who draw its ire and its gaze. Ah. She lays down on the on like the grass, I guess, and just goes <laughs> What pleasant stars tonight. Hopefully we're looking at a good omen. How do you spell that? What? Gala what was it? Gala, Gala Nuva? Gala Nula. Uh <laughs> Nula. Like that. Let's see. God, I just... Oh, I see. So I just thought, got in my head like <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Romali taught him to be ninja teens. He's a racist rat. <laughs> He's a powerful rat. <laughs> anyway, so. Cherry's a little annoyed this whole conversation yeah. going by, and like, you know, uh, she's been a bit annoyed by this. You know, she can't see the stars. This is, this is much more boring for her, mm -hmm. she feels like. That being said, though, I want to, uh, spout lore with a bardic lore. Yeah, I want a bardic lore. Okay. Gala Nula and all this. If I've heard these stories before. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Is Do I know any songs, those... legends? Yeah. It's from the songs of some who of some who worship the stars. Uh there is an old ballad of Galenula's of Galenula's eye uh following someone who mm. uh followed someone with great ambition followed someone with uh followed someone who wanted that the world to shape the world in their in their hand in in their hands and their and how they wish to see it uh the eye of Galenula followed them the whole time and uh, once when it was burning bright, as they were about to make a decision, they disregarded its gaze, and they paid dearly. Nice. Uh, yeah, which, you know, so Cherry, you know, like, nodding, listening to that, Kayla Nula, huh? And then, you know... She sort of plays, uh, like, she's kind of playing intermittently a couple of notes, trying to, like, you know, pulling the uh, melody back to her recollection, and then starts in. And she, you know, then just sort of starts performing the ballad, the song. Very nice. Yeah, for, uh... I don't know if either Ava has any reaction to that, to suddenly hearing the song about Gala Nula, or, you know, I don't know, maybe Lydian or someone has, like... I don't know if that adds anything for anyone. I think Lydian's more kind of thinking on, you know... Um, yeah. Uh, still stewing on the question he asked. The Lost God. Yeah, the finger of the Lost God. But yeah, he's li he is listening. He is tuned in. What do you think lies in store for us then, Sherry? Couldn't say. Think we're in Gala Nula's sights right now? Beyond wise to disregard its gaze or... And then he looks at Nico. 
you think those are just stories for the superstitious? Of course. <laughs> That's your silly talk. Got Cherry it. muttering something about I'm... Oh, I'm the fucking sky gets an eye. The sky gets to look at us. <laughs> I think November is actually slightly, you know, made uncomfortable by this, like, visibly. You see her kind of shifting a bit, you know. Her eyes keep glancing up at the sky. Don't like the idea of being watched, or don't like the idea that every shot you've ever taken has been determined by something out there. Don't like the idea of being in someone's sights. <sighs> it's not always bad to have someone looking out for you. That's true. I'm normally the one looking down the sights, though. Seems that's the only way you've ever viewed the world. It's what I'm best at. Ah, I get it. You get a full picture by looking from afar. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Damn, the theme of this party is the way we see the world. Wow. Except Cherry. I was gonna say, you know, <laughs> from a distance, all, you know, mechanically, schematics, you know, and facts and logic through numbers and values, or not at all. <laughs> well, she sees it in the metaphorical sense, through the stories. Yeah. Despite having no vision, she sees more clearly than any of them. Anyway, uh, to the watch order. Hmm. Uh, November can take middle watch, Cherry can take last watch. I'll take I'll take first watch. Oh yes, and he can take second. No, he doesn't. I, November, November oh, yeah. already. Oh, we Unless don't. you want to, oh. do you want to take, do you want to take first watch then? So he, yeah, actually, fuck it, Nico, you take first watch. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, Lydia's, Lydia's going, like, Lydia's all right, you three, bed. keep watch. <laughs> He's gonna be up tinkering anyway. Ding, 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 ding. Lydia and just going, ah, finally some sleep. And as soon as he lays down, just... I, I like the idea of, like, Lydia being like, all right, well, I'll stay up, keep watch. And November's like, you know, all right, trusting that goes to bed. Then Lydia's immediately like, actually, fuck this. I want to go to bed. Nico. <laughs> hmm? Uh... Anyway, uh, all right. So, if you're done with your scenes of the night, uh, November. Yes. I'd like you to roll a 2d6. Switch to her. Uh, switch to her. Thank you. There you go. Eight. Okay. Let's see. Nico getting a bit of a little sneak of sleep. Uh, I'm going to say, say I choose one from this list. So I'm Maybe going we could to have say had Ava take a watch. <laughs> Uh, Nico. Yeah, you have a restless night. Oh no, again? Yeah. You just, you, you just can't get much sleep. Something about the stars <laughs> are keeping you up. Yeah, he's just so stuff. mad at all of the logical yeah. fallacies. These idiots. Yeah. The idiots. Fools. Nico, like, you know, between, like, as he's going to bed, is looking up at, you know, looks up at the star, yo, Gala Nula, and then, swear to God, the star fucking winks at him. 
Did you taunt me? You taunt me. I'll get you, Star. I'm gonna use my Xbox to leave this planet and get to you. Yeah. Bang Zoom. Straight to the moon. Well, the morning comes. And uh the night has otherwise passed without incident. Is Nico not sleeping well? No. Nico did not sleep well. What Maybe a horrible well. night. Oh right, Cherry made a lovely stew. Nice. And yeah, yeah, as breakfast frying up. Should I get rid of my... Should I have used two rations by this point? No, uh, just one, I think. Just oh, one, just okay. one. Just the one. Just the one. Uh, now you could be in character for Lydia, and you say every time he eats a ration, he takes two. <laughs> you know what, fuck it, yeah, he's had, he's, had two forward. he's had two rations. Nice. I'm gonna make that... That's a ruling now, you're gonna remind me of this, but Lydia eats two rations at a time. That's now... <laughs> A car that's now an actual <laughs> mechanical penalty I've decided is actually real. <laughs> Wonderful. That's, uh... Yeah. I think we've <laughs> done that with, um... Red, that reminds me of fucking my old character Ren Snake, who refused to eat anything but Mama Orcs fucking processed food. <laughs> oh god. And that's why uh, if I played uh, Megan... Megan Kai, that was gonna be a thing for her. She would eat like two to three rations at once. Cause like shown an anime protagonist, you know. Wow. In any case, uh now that you're up, uh the morning has come. Uh you can continue your journey. Providing coffee for Yeah. Does Nico drink coffee? Yeah, let's say it's, so. You know, it's scientifically proven to increase, make you more alert. Does I feel like if there's anything this party could bond over, all four of them feel like real coffee drinkers to me. I can see that, though. I imagine Nico. How does how does Nico have his coffee? <laughs> well, I, I require extra amounts of milk, a bit of cream, and. Yeah. I, I'd like some sugar, too. There we go. <laughs> November drinks her mud black. And so we'll need to say good. little. It's, it's more like there's a bit of coffee in that mix. It's really, it's more just drinking hot milk. Hot really, caffeinated yeah. milk. I mean, Felina's like that, too. Oh, Nico and Felina really don't ha should never meet. They'll bond over It's coffee. really the STEM major versus the philosophy major. <laughs> They're more alike than they think. And can't we... How can't does Lydian do take his coffee? I can't... I, I, I almost picture, like... I want to... I kind of picture black, or maybe black with sugar, but then, like, you know, I don't know, something as luxurious as cream also feels. I can see him, I can see him having just kind of cream, probably not that much. I, I've never had cream in my coffee, so I can't say. He drinks his coffee black with sugar, but then also drinks, like, a cup of, like, cream <laughs> on the side. <laughs> not even actually, a glass of milk, just actually, cream. Yeah, actually, Nico goes, oh, and I'd like some oat milk to my coffee. Sure. Did you know that oat milk is actually produced for oat? Well, then we don't have... I, I, okay, you know, I'm gonna say, I obviously we could be traveling with coffee. I, I don't know where this milk is coming from. Yeah. I don't know that milk is usually part of dungeon rations. Yeah. But, we don't we don't have yeah, any no. we don't have any dried like long life milk. Damn. <laughs> There's no shelf stable fucking milk in this fantasy Maybe. setting with the GameCube. No, no powdered <laughs> milk. No uh, evolution, you know, things. Mm. 
At least not as part of standard dungeon rations. Yep, there. No, I think we're having our coffee black. I think that's yeah. yeah, no, Nico no. just go no, that's what Nico's like milk please and Sherry's like, you're about twelve years too late for that. <laughs> Greetings, I requ I require milk. Good. What? What is what is um what is my milk product? I require it for my coffee. Uh, all right, Nico, I've got a business idea. We're gonna turn yeah? we're gonna turn milk into powder. Oh, that's just insane! Now hear me out, and then you add water, and it becomes milk again. That's insane. Is that really milk? Or is that just... But it could work. That would solve so much. But I, I, need, I need a biology lab for this. I need, I need cows. Alright, let's put Please. this idea on the back burner. And just, he, just writes, he just writes in his notepad, long milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paulina, or... Paulina, Jesus. Me, just me, like, me, or... Me, I do me, feel me. like... How has this not come up before? Like, surely we've, you know, all the other times we've had breakfast that Ni we haven't had milk. Hmm. Nico, meanwhile, Nico and writes in, life. It, you, you You wrote ro long milk in your notes. Nico ro ro writes, writes, powdered milk. <laughs> Probably a bad you know, idea. No, but like, you see, Lydian, he thinks marketing. Yeah. Nico thinks you're science. Or like or like powderized milk product. Not real milk. I think if Felina had been here for that exchange, she would have passed out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, yeah. she's really... I'm actually gonna run to the bathroom real oh, quick. Okay. Sorry. Very well. On the road again. So, well, perhaps we could acquire the milk and somehow dry it. I'll leave the science of it to you, but I'm thinking, you know, armies on a march, travelers. Sometimes you just want a bit of milk in your coffee, and you're miles yeah. from a town. And, yeah, exactly. And a getting a cow with you or some other animal, mammal that produces milk, terrible. For logistics. Meanwhile, just uh, some powder that you can just break out. Just rehydrate. Just turn it into milk again. My word. This is, this is genius. How did I never think about this? We'll have to get, we'll have to get started on that in Yuma. And then we can turn so many other things into powders. Like, oh my god, what if you could dry up food and then we just add water? And it would reconstitute it... right there. Exactly. We could revolutionize the way we, we consume foods. I could consume so much more food. Of course, the nutritional value might go down, but you know... The... It's trade-offs, but most people aren't going to consume this regularly. <laughs> oh, Nico and Lydian, the causes of beast crisis. Actually, L Lydian just calls that other people catching up. He's ahead of the <laughs> curve there. What do you think, November? What... As a traveler, wouldn't it be nice to have milk you could just make at a moment notice? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, I forgot. November is playing by him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to Neo ne having like his own character. <laughs> Should I ask, ask Eva, what do you think about this? Uh, no. She's going to talk about the stars again. <laughs> She might not talk about the stars. Or, or she might go, oh yeah, I mean, it's daytime, so she can't talk about the stars that much. Which one's she going to do? Point you... at the blue sky and go, roughly there, there's the star of milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
That's the start that, like, the cows look to. <laughs> what do you think, Eva? Of powdered milk. Yes. Powdered milk. Hmm. Milk, that's a powder that you add, also add H2O to, to, and that makes the chemicals mix. Why, that sounds wonderful. Imagine if you could take a powdered milk and throw it in the ocean. You could turn the ocean to milk. No, 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 no. salivating. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no! You don't throw it in the ocean. You, you have the powdered milk in like your mug, and you add H two O. Do you add H two O to the milk, or milk to the H two O? What? No, no. The milk is the powder. You add the milk. I don't think it'd be a wise idea to turn the <laughs> the ocean into milk. That might tank our business. There'd be too much what milk to go you... around. No one would need to buy any. What if... What if you took powdered milk and added it to regular milk? No, that, that, that's not how it works. Can you I... answer that, scientists? Can your science answer that? Yes, it can, easily, but... Lydian just, Lydian just leaning in saying, what would actually happen if you did that? <laughs> <laughs> just quietly <laughs> whispering because he doesn't Well, there, there is H2O in the middle, but like, it would be... No. No, you can't do that. No. No, I'm in charge here. <laughs> but it, would it be like too much milk or something? Like, too yeah, milk? No. It would just kind of be kind of weird tasting milk. I like that we haven't invented this yet, but Nico already knows the milk is going to be less nutritional and taste weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he already just knows it's going to lose some of its flavor. Remember okay. when Japan did that, like, McDonald's in Japan did that, like, uh, promotion with milky candy, and they were like, the milky is the taste of mommy milkshake. No, I no. don't. I don't no. remember this. Milky's taste of mommy milkshake. No, you don't remember Milky's taste of mommy milkshake. No, so, well, that was so as evening approaches, you're <laughs> uh, you're you, you, you're approaching the gates of Yuma. You've passed into the desert area. The tidal desert. The tidal desert. The sand, the sands shift around you, but you're on the road, which has been protected from the shifting sands. And as you approach the walls of Yuma, you can see the guards at the gate looking very uh, on edge as you approach. And when they see you, they go, oh, visitors vi coming to Yuma? Coming to Yuma and... Uh... Well, got one of your As locals. Across the tidal one of our locals. Desert line. She going had a bit, yeah. Um, Lydian uh, kind of um, points out Eva. She had an incident out in the Bronze Plains and is a little shaken up, but uh, says she's from these parts. Huh. Well, I guess I can check out her. Wait a minute. He looks closer. Ava. Reader of the Stars? Oh, fuck. Cherry says that in universe, actually. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yes. Lydian's a little bit thrown in this, but then goes, I guess that explains some things. Ah, uh, Reader of the Stars. I've known that name before. And who might you be? Hate guard. And the guard just goes, You've been missing for months. What, where, where have you been? She was too busy looking up and not looking down. Indeed, he doesn't I was actually down. say that. I was down, but now I'm up. Actually, and no, he I, does say it, sort of. And I'm here to raise us up, for us to all go up. 
up is where we need to go. And he just scratches his head. He's like, oh, my lord, this isn't good. Uh, mind filling me in on the problem here? Well, listen to her. She's speaking, uh, odd. And well, she's always been odd, but... So this is a progression of that oddness. Well, I suppose we should just let her in. Um, Miss Ava, do you remember where you live? Of course I do. In the reader's garden. About that. It got struck by a falling star. Oh? And a falling what? star? Well, Nico, maybe you should, uh... That's, that's called a meteorite, you peasant. Please ignore my comrade. He's, uh, brilliant in many ways, but socially not so. So her her accommodations have been destroyed? One of them has. We still have the other readers. We have, we have another place for the readers, but... Well, maybe we'll go over what else has happened later. In the meantime, we should let you people in. And beware, the streets have gotten a little more fraught. Oh, oh thank, my, a falling oh, thank you star. kindly. Yeah, and they open the gates for you as she just seems kind of unbothered and just goes, A falling star. Oh my, oh my. So, Ava, you Wait, work. So, what, her temple got crushed? Seems that way, or yeah. where, they, where they put up people with her abilities. Oh, okay. Hey, Marla. Bye, Marla. And yeah, you're let inside the city as there are, and you see, yeah, there are a few buildings that are being reconstructed. Uh, you can see people moving about uh, somewhat, uh, you know, hurriedly. And uh, there are a few things that might catch either of your eyes or, sen or other senses. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who have eyes, see you might notice uh there is a large poster that some guards are attempting to take down oh and oh, on it, it that says, really is something cherry wouldn't be able to yeah on it it just says uh end is nigh beware the false idols yeah lydian, and... you know, I... lydian points that out to cherry <laughs> And on it, there is uh, uh, below false idols, there are a few drawings. I wonder One who of them they are. is a hand handing out coin. Oh. Huh. Yes. Uh, Lydian doesn't point that part out. He just he just <laughs> points out Oh, Cherry. Uh... It affects the tone with which he's pointing this out to Cherry, though. <laughs> he kind of goes um... Some religious nut job has put up this bullshit poster that the guards are <laughs> rightly tearing down. Seems that there's um, uh, seems there's some doomsayers in town. Big poster up there, end is nigh, and they got uh yeah, and then he realizes they got some uh they, there's some uh troublesome sorts in town. Yeah. There's a drawing of a woman beckoning someone forth into a bed. There's uh, Ooh, a wow. drawing of uh, there's a there's a oh we've a met drawing of a wizard. That's That's just a Jesus. wizard. That's yeah. the Jesus. He's in town. Um. I have, I have two questions to ask, yeah. actually, upon entering 
a settlement for the first time. Um, okay. The first one, okay, so it's uh, when you return to a civilized settlement you visited before, which last time was, like, uh, 20 years ago. Um, they'll tell you how it's changed since then, which feels a bit silly to ask yeah. in this. Like, I feel what's changed is pretty immediately obvious. Yeah. With it's the, uh... much less calm. People have yeah. gotten much more on edge. People are... Uh, people are, uh, y you know, they're hurriedly moving about. Uh, there's a sense that just, uh, people aren't quite at peace here. Yeah. And because, like, from what Cherry remembers, this was, like, a pretty, like... This is a nice Almost resort. resort. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, I'm gonna... Uh, on, on this next one, this is another one that I get to... So... When you discern realities in the wilderness, or when you enter a settlement for the first time, also ask one of these questions. So is this... So I guess I have to discern realities. I suppose so. Interesting. Okay, so... I guess I will just discern realities... Oh, oh, wow. Stars oh, are not aligning. If you, uh... Oh, but you I have ate. a plus one forward. True. Ah, true. Yeah. You have a plus one forward because of your, uh... So I get one discern yeah. realities. Oh, I have so many fucking discern realities questions in so many different <laughs> places. <laughs> you gotta uh, correlate them is... into a single document. Right. Uh... I don't think anything there is useful. What are the basic ones? So I think this is also... So it says also ask one of these. So I ask a regular discern realities and then also get one of those, right? Yeah, I believe so. That that should be how it works. If it oh! If you discern realities about a location, you may ask one of these questions instead of one from the normal list. So I could also just do two of these, I think? I guess so. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Uh, let me look at these. All right, let's say, hmm. Actually, let's just go with uh, what here is useful or valuable to me. We'll, we'll only do one of the special lists. Um, okay. Let's, Let's see, what here is useful or valuable to you? Well, uh... I would say from asking around, as I guess the rest of them are getting the cart settled in, Yeah. Uh, you hear that there is uh, a... Uh, there is a, uh, refugee center hmm. that, uh, is, has put out a call for any outside help. Okay. That's right. I remember that. Wait a minute. We're outside help. Help. That's us. All right. Uh, hmm. So, I was thinking about, I don't think we have anything specific enough for that. That's too much of a stretch. Um, I think I'm going to go with how could I be accepted by the people here, but I also have how could I best attract attention here. Uh, do y'all have a one you think is better there? I think the mm. former. That's, uh, be accepted, right? For I'm bad with former later. Yeah, former is the first one, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. Basically, how, how could they accept us here? Because that would naturally... I could also ask what here is the source of evil. 
or a source of evil, but that feels a bit... That's kind of cutting the rope a bit too soon, I yeah. think. Yeah. Alright, uh, how could I be accepted by the people here? 